So RuneScape, much like other MMORPGs, has more or less always had a bot problem. Some years it's fine, other times they absolutely rule the game. Although Jagex has made attempts to get rid of botting in the past, they've never been able to completely remove it. So I thought, why not pose the question of, what if every bot disappeared overnight forever? So, before we discuss the effects no bots would have, we need to discuss how they currently affect the game. First of all, there's a ton of different types of bots, but to make things easy, I'm going to break it up into two sections. Skilling and PVM bots. Skilling bots are easy to set up because the botter has literally no requirements. They can have a skilling bot up and running within seconds of making an account. If the botter's goal is to make money woodcutting, it's pretty easy. Make an account, finish the tutorial, and start the bot. Sometimes they don't even have to do that though, as they'll get a bot to do the tutorial for them. Anyway, they start the bot and come back the next day, and their bot has already gained the levels to chop magic logs. The second type of bot we'll be focusing on, as mentioned earlier, is PVM bots. Let's say the botter wants to make money by fighting Zora. This is far more difficult to set up than a skilling bot, because there's actually requirements. The botter can't just make an account and start the Zora bot immediately. They have to get multiple bot programs to train their stats. They need a bot to raise their combat levels like magic and ranged, another one for their prayer levels, another bot to complete quests so they can use fairy rings, maybe an agility bot, a bot to make money for all of these skills, and the list just goes on and on and on. Although a botter will make a lot more money by fighting Zora, the requirements, setup time, and real life cost are massive compared to just woodcutting. As a result, the average botter is simply just going to skill for money. It's much less risky because if they get banned, they essentially lose almost nothing except for whatever progress they've gained on the account, which oftentimes they could get back in just a day or two. So what if every bot did disappear overnight? How would this affect you, the player, and the economy you participate in? That I'll discuss in this next section. So we've already established that the average botter is probably just going to make money through skilling. As a result, this leads to a massive amount of raw materials entering the game illegitimately. Even if Jagex bans a bot a week after it started running, by then they will have most likely sold most of their resources on the Grand Exchange. When the bot is banned, those resources still remain in the game, because simply put, they don't really have anywhere else to go. Now, it's impossible for us to know exactly how many players are bots, but go to any popular skilling area on a crowded world, and you'll see just how bad the bot problem can really be. Let's say the oak trees in Varrock on World 1 have 40 bots training on them at all times. On average, let's just say each bot gets an oak log every 10 seconds. This means that in this one spot, on this one world, almost 15,000 oak logs are illegitimately put into the game's economy every single hour. That's almost 350,000 logs a day. So, if they do all suddenly disappear, what happens to the price of oak logs? Well, it's simple economics. They're going to go up in price almost immediately, because the demand will be higher than the supply. Now, what effect does this have on the overall economy? Well, raw materials other than just oak logs are going to cost a lot more. Things like sharks, yew logs, and so on will absolutely skyrocket in price. This would make some forms of skilling on par with money making from bossing. I might sound crazy, but this exact same thing happened in 2011, and we have data to back it up. So, the year is 2011, and RuneScape has a pretty significant botting problem. The Wilderness and Free Trade had returned in February of the same year. With the return of Free Trade came the return of being easily able to make a profit botting. To counter this, Jagex began working on a project now known as Bot Nuking Day. Bot Nuking Day, which was also codenamed as Cluster Flutterer, was created to prevent types of bots known as Reflection and Ejection Bots from functioning. At the time, Jagex believed 98% of all bots were Reflection and Injection. If you're interested on what Reflection and Injection bots are, I actually have a whole other video devoted to the topic. I'll link it on screen now, as well as at the end, for those of you who want to keep watching this video. So, Jagex spent a while working on this project, and finally on October 25th, 2011, pushed the update live. Upon revealing the update, they said that, recently, over 1.5 million bots had been banned from the game. When the update was all ready to go, and the game opened back up, to players, it looked like a ghost town. Popular minigames, bosses, skilling areas, basically just everywhere in the game was empty. 
The player count was literally less than half of what it was just a few hours before. Over the next few days from October 25th to the 29th, over 7.7 .7 million accounts were banned for gold farming. But this update didn't just affect botters, because it had a serious change in the player base too. Popular items such as trout skyrocketed from 27 coins in October, before peaking at 155 coins in February. Similar items peaked in January and February as well. Oak logs, 25 to 193. U logs, 425 to 550. Nature runes, 111 to 308. Sharks, 865 to 2070. To some, this may not seem like much, but let's do a bit of math real quick. Let's say someone was getting some fire making training done and had about 50k oak logs saved up in their bank. Not the most effective way to train fire making, but it's just an example. They bought them when they were 25 each and sold them when they hit 193 because they didn't want to train fire making anymore. They essentially turned close to 1 mil into almost 10 million GP. This is just absolutely insane. Now, the first bot nuke was effective for about four to five months. Within a week, some bots were back up and running at normal capacity. I can only imagine how much different the economy would be if there was a nuke every six months or so. But that's not the question I'm here to answer. Like I said a couple times already, what if bots did disappear overnight? Well, I imagine everything I've said already should answer your questions, but let's do a little bit of a recap. First, it would start with a high period of inflation of popular items like raw materials. As these items inflate, more players would start to train at previously bot infested areas to try and take advantage of the rising prices. Next, they would start to even out, but chances are things could still cost more than before depending on the volume of bots previously in the game. Viable skills such as prayer would most likely become a lot more expensive for at least a brief period of time. Now, assuming Jagex sees all this and wants to make a few changes, they would probably buff the drop tables on things such as bosses and slayer monsters. This would cause a chunk of the player base to return to PVM content, as some pieces would once again be more profitable than skilling. So that's really all I have for this video. A lot of this is just a whole bunch of theorizing, but I do use as much real world data as I can to back it up. I could have missed something because, you know, it really is just putting all the puzzle pieces together. If you think I missed something important, make sure to drop it in the comments so that me and everyone else can see it. One more thing before I go, I opened a Patreon recently for anyone interested in that. You don't have to donate obviously, but it's just there for those that want to. There's a whole bunch of cool rewards on there like having your name in the credits of all my videos, and a couple goals like a RuneScape mini documentary and a documentary styled series on the history of the entire game. Anyway, that should be linked on screen now. Other than that, drop a like and I'll see you in the next one.